Hello, and uh, thank you for inviting me to speak to you today. It's a pleasure to join you all at today's uh, campaign for National Parks Council. And I, right from the outset, I want to say just how delighted I am to be given this uh, important role as part of my brief uh, here at DEFRA. And I would really like to thank the Campaign for National Parks and its Chief Executive, Rose O'Neill, for bringing us today um, together to talk about this um, really important time for national parks. The leadership shown by your organisation is commendable, uh, campaigning tirelessly uh, to protect and improve the 13 national parks of England and Wales and leave a positive legacy uh, for future generations. Uh, underpinning this legacy will be our collective effort to tackle climate change, which we'll focus on uh, today. Uh, I'd also like to thank the Campaign for National Parks for publishing a powerful report in June, which recognises the significant impact that climate change is already having on our national parks, and it examines what is being done in national parks to tackle climate change and identifies the actions needed uh, to support them and to do more. Climate change is the biggest challenge of our time and it will have a significant impact on our land and how we steward it. We need to start a national conversation about what this means for national parks and how best to respond. Collaboration will be a key to tackling climate change. We want to work with our national parks and our areas of outstanding natural beauty and with those that live and work and those that visit them to solve this challenge together. We know that initiatives to combat climate change must listen to and support local communities if they're going to be uh, successful. The Landscapes Review set out a compelling vision for a more beautiful, more biodiverse and more accessible uh, series of national parks and AOMBs. The government welcomes the ambitions of the review, which aims to achieve more for climate, more for nature, people and places, underpinned by a greater sense of national mission. This includes recommending that management plans are strengthened and set clear actions for nature recovery and the response to climate change. National parks uh, alone cover nearly 10% of land in England and are home to large areas of priority habitat, crucial to cutting emissions, including over 40% of England's bog habitat and 40% of England's fen, marsh and swamp. Together, national parks and AOMBs are home to some of our most important species and over half our triple SIs, making them vital to the national effort, national effort uh, for nature-based solutions to, to climate change. Protected landscapes could therefore play an important role in supporting the government's commitment to reach net zero by 2050, halt nature's decline by 2030, and protect 30% of land by 2030. But it will be a collective endeavour to realise this potential. We're already seeing progress. National Parks England recently published their Climate Leadership Delivery Plan which outlines their vision for, a national, for national park authorities in England to work towards achieving net zero for the landscapes they manage by 2040 and net zero for their operations by 2030. Revere, a partnership between Palladium and the National Parks Partnership, was launched in October 2021 to raise £240 million of private capital to deliver scalable nature recovery projects in the national parks across the UK. Revere will help to tackle climate change by restoring degraded peatlands, grasslands, woodlands and wetlands. We want to support national parks to deliver these ambitions. We'll shortly publish our response to the Landscapes Review, which will consult on proposals to strengthen our protected landscapes. We would welcome 
obviously, your input, which will be absolutely key and encourage you to respond to the consultation uh, when it goes live. So much good work has already, uh, is already underway in our national parks and across our protected landscapes, especially on tackling climate change. But we know we've got so much more to do uh, to meet the scale of the task before us. I look forward to learning from and building on this work with you. Uh, together, we can ensure that our protected landscapes are havens for nature and resilient to climate change, while being places for the public to enjoy, to learn, to thrive in, if necessary, to heal themselves. And you will be absolutely fundamental uh, to that work going ahead in the future. So thank you so much for letting me join you today.